Hello and welcome to another video or episode by brought to you by Mike's Designs or Blue Mike 155. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Photoshop icon, a custom Photoshop icon. So as you can see right in front of you is a custom Photoshop icon I made in Photoshop, <laughs> obviously. Um. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to do this and the second part of this. I'm hopefully putting this all into one whole video. Um, I'm going to show you how to actually make your icon on your start menu. So when you go to start, it looks like this. So your start menu, it shows like the custom icon that you just made. And third, if you have object doc for, you know, like this, you know, your object doc like this. So if you have this I'm gonna show you how to put your own custom icon up there so like I'm gonna show you one example I have my Photoshop icon for the object dot is Bowser and it looks pretty cool it's like he looks all transparent and everything well he's not in the background he's just himself so that looks pretty cool so without further ado let me just get to straight to the video and show you how to do this so first off come to file no and we're gonna start off not just 32 by 32 we're gonna start off with a 500 by 500 that way we can make the uh, um, the background and everything we want and then squeeze it into a 32 by 32 background so as I minimize the screen the thing for you all right so I'm gonna kind of remake what I did to here so I'm gonna you know try to do that again so what I did was first double click on the background layer and make sure you unlock it so you know you realize that that lock is no longer there so after you do that we're gonna wanna put this background in a style so come over to your styles and if you have not downloaded or you know downloaded um styles like web I forgot what it's called web 2.0 styles or something like that Anyway, if you don't have these styles, just let me know. Um, private message me on YouTube, and I'll get back to you. And I'll be asking you to um give me an email address so I can send these to you. But anyways, um, let's start off. We're gonna start off with this style. It's a blue. It's like a transparent blue. It's like a gel. So once we do that, come back to your layers panel. Then um, we're gonna make a new layer. So click this little icon here. It makes a new layer. Right, so next we're gonna hide the first layer that we just made with the style. So now everything is transparent. Don't mind the checkers. That just means it's transparent. So we're gonna come over to the paint bucket tool and make sure. Well, for this tutorial, I'm just gonna have it blue. And press OK. And make that blue. So next, make this layer visible again and push it all the way up to the top now it looks like it's a shiny blue yeah anyway um next we're gonna make uh not a new layer we're gonna come over to your custom shapes and once again if you don't have these shapes just let me know i'll just email them to you or um if you check out my other video i think it's called um update or something or or is it how to I forget just check my videos and ish I'll show you how to where to download um styles and brushes and such so I just took out this random style here and we're just gonna put it across just like so and then select the move tool and just click anywhere and then as you see anything outside the box is automatically cut off then we're gonna select that shape and drop the opacity down to about 25% so it looks uh, just about transparent or see through whatever yeah anyway next we're gonna go to um you know the text tool and the text I'm gonna be using is called Moonstar you can find that on I think it's the fonts.com um you can just search fonts on Google and it should be like the first the first search maybe Anyway, um, I'll just put that in the description, but anyway, I'm going to type out in caps, 
SP for Photoshop. Select the move tool and kind of move that all the way in the middle bit, in the middle, and kind of use the directional buttons to center it. Okay, so next we're gonna go to um, Control J to make a copy, and then we're gonna drag it right below the Photoshop, um, the initial one. Then come to Styles, and we're gonna come all the way down to this very preset style that I have here. So it makes it look like it's 3D with like a nice metal edge to it. So once you have that, and like I said, you probably might not have this, but if you do, you know, come down to you know, that style. It's called black, another metal. I mean, black. Yeah. Anyway, um, it should look like this. So come back to your layers. And once you have this and everything is all set and you like it, we're going to come over here to layer. And come all the way down to flatten image. What that does is take all of your projects, files, right? That was just right here, your text files and everything, and compacts everything to one image file. Right. So next, we're going to come back to file, new. And remember when I was telling you about the 32 by 32? Well, that's what we're going to do. Make a 32 by 32 with 300 resolution. And press OK. Now what you get is this small teeny weeny little box. What we're going to do with this little box is first control and hit that plus sign on your keyboard. That makes the image just a little bit bigger so you can see it. And come over here to your, you know, your, your Photoshop icon that you made. And just drag it on to the 32 by 32. Um, um, you know, document. All right. Well, for this, we're gonna go Control minus, so we could kind of see this little box, and then Control T, because as you can see, this big outline here is that that um 500 by 500 Photoshop icon we made. So first off, hold um Shift and Alt on your keyboard, or I think it's Command and Option on Mac. And just drag it down. Let me just move that there. Okay, cool. Now just drag that all the way down. Keep dragging. Okay, now you can use the control plus. That's just to see the image just a little bigger. And keep squeezing it and kind of nudge it in there like so okay once you're satisfied and everything looks good and it's all fitting press enter now it looks blurry because it's a 32 by 32 um, document but once it's up it's gonna look perfect so that's why we that's why we did this so you might want to save this and I'm gonna be making another video on this um not really I'll, if I have to I will but um, for the time being right now I'm just gonna show you go to save as and you can name this whatever you want we're gonna name it um, SP I mean PS icon right and come over here and to this little drop down and you might not have this if you do great it's called ICO Windows icon it's a file format that saves it as a Windows icon and you just press save and it saves now um, I have I happen to have the plugin for that so if you need it just email me or not I'll just make another video um, so once you have that it should look like this right so come to start menu and if you have Photoshop there, great. Right click on it and then hit properties. And then you should see something that says change icon. Click change icon and it may show a whole bunch of other icons for Photoshop. Just browse for where, um, hopefully you saved it on your desktop. And if you did, good. Just find that icon, which is it right there. You just click it. I already have it on, so I'm not going to do it any again, but 
whatever. Um, after you do it, just click open, and um, it's gonna say apply. So press apply, and if you're running Windows Vista, just press continue and accept or whatever for administrative pr privileges, and then press OK. And then you should have your Photoshop icon for um, Photoshop on your start menu. Now, this now this video may be taking a little bit longer, so I might make another video on how to do this. So keep watching for part two. Unfortunately, keep watching for part two of this video, and um, I'll be helping you out in further if, um, customization of your desktop. So. Thank you for watching and so long. Keep um watch part two.